What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video here on the Hashtag United channel and today we are going up against White Enzyme away in Busdon, which is in fact about 10 minutes away from me. So this is a local one for me, thank God. Look at that for a stand by the way. Running track as well. They've got an unbelievable sports complex here in Busdon. But we're going up against White Enzyme today who are currently top of the league. So no one has lost two games in a row and no one has won two games in a row, obviously. But some teams have won one and drew one and some teams have lost one and drew one. So it's a very tight league, however, we're here for today and we're looking forward to it. So without further ado, let's go. Oh, oh. Mr. Handshake. Sorry, Killed I was it. looking to get on camera. <laughs> Wesley, <laughs> what's going on? How are you doing? Uh, not a player, a commentator. commentator. Are you excited? It's a bit of a distance, though. I mean, I've got all right eyes, but... You didn't bring any glasses or anything, nah. like binoculars? No binoculars, no glasses. But yeah, looking forward to it. Got my like read up on my football generics. Oh nice. Message. Richard Buckley he gave us a few tips. Okay. Uh, yeah. Shout out Richo. Preparation is everything. And uh, you, there's a bit of a high bar set by Man's Dog. I watched it back. I watched the full 90 minutes, and it was yeah decent. So a lot to live up to. But no. who are you going to be picking on today, though? That's my question. Well, the weather's not. There has to be then. someone that we can reference to in this video that we could say that you, that you were picking on. Surely. Probably yourself. Oh, to be honest. I'll be on the bench. <laughs> That's the only person I love me. Right, so this music playing in the background. I've only got eight seconds until it gets copyright. All what right, are you going to tell me? Five, four, we're here. three, nice two, sports arena. one. Oh, Lee Hurst it. LP! My G! <laughs> Hang on. What's that about? Nutrition. It's a nana, mate. Bit of nana. It's not plantain. <laughs> not pla <laughs> pla plantain. No, plantain. Plantain, no? Yeah, it's not that. No? What is this? Just it's a standard banana, bananas. Mate. Is it? Would you recommend this to everyone that wants oh, to play at a high level or everyone. a good level? Yeah. High level, low level, whatever level you play at, nice banana before a game is beautiful. Lovely. <laughs> Wow. Made Ronaldo look like oh, Daniel Adji. See our seven and that. <laughs> Boom. Wow. <laughs> Wait, where's the. I wasn't on the list. You did. You could have been on the list. Yeah, I could have been on the list. No, I wasn't on the list. They're referencing a fines list. What's going on? Do it. I owe three pounds, which I paid. Well, what was yours for? Being late? Late, which is two pounds. And then I think. Because we lost pounds as well. Okay, so it's three pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I reckon I'll rack up a few quid. <laughs> I reckon I will. Here we are, found ourselves in a familiar situation. Are you, is you having work on this or is no, it? No, no, that's, that's self sufficient, mate. I've actually got some nice um, replacement skin for you coming in. <laughs> Have we? I've ordered you. Just for me? Just for I need replacement it. skin. It'll be absolutely Let me, amazing. Because it's been raw for too long. It's been raw for way too long. You keep sliding on it, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I can't help it. I mean, let's actually... I don't think we've ever come onto more detail about it. I mean, I mean, we spoke about it, but if we actually look at it, it's very... It's an aggressive wow. scar, isn't it? Wow. Surgeon. Apparently the surgeon used a wooden spoon, I was told. <laughs> so, not very good. I don't know if you guys can see, but Spendog's found his uh, commentary position, but he has got a hole. Oh, and apparently he's going to retire his jeans after tonight. The captain is here, but unfortunately, oh, yeah. you're not training with the other guys because you're still carrying the injury. Talk no. to me a little bit about it. I was with uh, Stevie Carmichael Brown two hours last night. No way. Yeah, way. Long. Uh, but, you know, he's, um, he's taken me up in some lovely... Pink. Oi! Is it? Nice. I went for pink today. It was like tan last week. And he went, I've got pink, I've got blue. So I thought I'd try a bit. Real men wear pink. I mean, everyone knows that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, annoying and gutting. I'm not playing, but he said we had a little fitness test. It was, wasn't right. It was it was hurting a bit. So yeah. White and Zion today, though, top of the league. Yeah. Hopefully we can. Um, hopefully we can. Well, we can only improve, really. Mm. We've got a loss, a draw. So hopefully today, fingers crossed, is a win. Uh, annoying, yeah, not to be helping everyone out, but here supporting. No, you are here to help. Exactly. You, you can help from the bench. Here, here to help from the bench instead. But yeah, no, fingers crossed. Everyone's yeah now getting into the league, and we know what we've got to do to to get some points on the board. We've just got to score a lot more, create a few more chances. Um, but yeah, hopefully we do it today. Lee, you're currently warming up the keeper. It's quite windy out here, isn't it? So we're going to have to warm AJ up with a few crosses. Yeah. Better. I think you need to push it straight through, innit? 
Yeah. We can't try and make them make them try. Well, and drop it and try and play them cool, but or I'll just keep the corners. But just drop it and cool. <laughs> wow. Wow. Got no excuses for that, Lou. No excuses whatsoever. Good strike. What I know about these is they've had a fantastic start. They, I know it's early days, but they're sitting on top of the league, so their confidence is going to be high. A couple of things to look out for. They've got a forward that will chase everything, so we have to be on our toes, have to be switched on at the back. Communication will be key. Knowing when to step, when to drop will be key. And the keeper looks to kick as long as he can. Don't take liberties with a pitch today. There's, it's dry, it's suffered from the weather. It's, things are quite tight. First 20, 25 minutes, don't be afraid to just put the ball in areas that ask questions of them defensively. And we've got enough going forward to go and chase and harass. When things go in, I, when, when we've got options to get out, I expect you to be showing, I expect you to be showing, I expect the other to be looking to then go beyond. Why players, when things get put in for you, I want you to go and chase. Get them going back towards their own goal, get them making mistakes. And then, let's be brave, let's be positive with our final ball, let's be confident, and let's go and hurt someone. Yeah, this gun hurts side. It'll come. It'll come. But don't feel it as a pressure. Just keep doing the right things. Let's start showing that we can develop and learn and become a competitive side in this non-league environment. Let's go, boys. Come on. Come on, come on boys. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Hashtag United game in the Eastern Senior League. It's the third match of the season. We're here at the Basildon Sporting Village in Essex to take on current leaders of the league, top of the league, White Ensign. OK, they've uh, got four points so far from two games, playing in the red and blue strip today. Hashtag in the yellow and blue. Joining me today is the one, the only, some people call him the White Kante. It's Wes Tanser. Wes, how are you? Hello, Spen. Privileged to be in the booth with you. First away game of the season that we were both attending. Yep, correct. So yeah, hoping, oh. hoping for a good one with the boys. White and Sign, originally from Southend, of course, currently playing in Basildon. It's a new home for them, only their second home game here ever. So they won't be that adapted to the pitch yet, which does look dry. We've had a lot of sun here in Essex. Uh, let's talk about the team for today. So a few changes for Hashtag's lineup. In goal, we've got ACW, Andy Cade Watts. In defence, we've got two new boys at fullback due to uh, all our fullbacks pretty much being unavailable. No Scott Willard, no Jamel, uh, no Daknovsky, no Tom Williams. So we've actually got a couple of guys in from Tilbury on a loan. So we've got Will Putter left back. We've got Kane Brogham at right back. Uh, in the middle, we've got Stampy and Sam Adams, OK? In midfield, the two centre mids, Matt Carter and Ricky Evans, who deputised at left back for us last game, but he's back in his proper position of centre mid, is Ricky Evans. Uh, wide left is Harry Honesty, got his first goal for the club last game. On the right, it's the captain for today, Ryan Adams, in Jack Harrison's absence, who's still injured, as is Tekka's guru. And up front, we have got Neil Richmond, who got an assist on Tuesday night, and Dan Brown, the current top goal scorer, yet to get a goal in the league so far. The ref for today, Carl Dunnage, blows his whistle, and it's all begun here in Basildon. Hashtag United versus White Ensign. Let's go. So White Ensign with the ball in the early exchanges. Good ball down this right-hand side. Stampy, though, is going to come and cover. Gets it over to the new boy, Will Putt. Sends it down the line to Harry Honesty. He wins the flick on to Neil Richmond. It's going to be a hashtag throw. As Richo heads the ball back into the box. Keeper does well to get his hands on it, though. Dan Brown now giving the left back some problems and he gets the ball off him. Flicks it into Richo. Richo's touch takes him past his player. There's a lot of red shirts around him. Goes back to Ryan Adams. Back to Richo again. Looking to flick it to Ryan. It's good football down the right hand side as Ryan Adams puts it towards the back stick. Harry Honesty was there. Gets ahead to it. But it was just too far away from him, wasn't it, Wes? He couldn't keep it on target. Yeah, very close. A loss and a, a draw for hashtag so far. Oh, well, Dan Brown's gone through here, but he is offside. And you back him to finish it, which he does. And that's good for his confidence. But uh, it's offside. It's not going to count. It's a small pitch here. It's not a particularly big one. 
Harry honestly doing well to get the ball back for us, sending it back to Marcus Stamp. Stampy trying to find Ricky Evans, but good pressing game from the number 23 there, which is uh, John Hillard for White and Sign. It's going to come to Ricky Evans here. Tries to find Richo. The final pass just not been quite as good. And hashtag always seem to look quite rushed at the moment. As the ball comes over the top here, chance for this man on the left. It is Dominic Locke. The man has got two goals in two games for White and Sign. Gets the ball in. Sam Adams gets something on it. There's a lot of players lining up on the edge of the box. Oh, that shot looked like it caused Andy some problems. He was slow to, to get down. Luckily, it was off target, Wes. It's a ball here. Andy needs to come and deal with it. It's a nice clearance from Andy. They're looking for these balls through the middle a lot, aren't they, White and Sign? As I say, they've got the extra man in there, I think. Good work here, though. It comes to Harry Honesty. Harry Honesty on his left foot. Can he whip it in? Can he get a touch on it? It's not a bad ball. Keeper has to get a hand to it. Not very confidently. Oh, what? It's not a save, it's gone in, but it's been disallowed again. I think a foul was given against Richo in the box. It's a great finish from Richo. I thought it was an unbelievable save from the keeper. It went over the line, but for the second time in this game, we're only 15 minutes in, we've put the ball in the back of the net twice, and neither have counted. That was a David De Gea-esque save from the keeper. Kind of adjacent with Andy right now in the far corner flag of where the uh, goalie's about to kick this ball. So... Second half, we'll have a good view of hashtag attacks. But right now, we're, we're relying on my eyesight, which we've proved from last game isn't great as I kept getting Matt Carter and Tekkers mixed up. Got my glasses on from kickoff today. DB finds Ryan Adams here on the right-hand side. Ryan's going to keep it in. Closed down by a player. Looks to get into DB who tries to control it at a tight angle. DB puts it back inside. Big touch from the keeper there to take it away from Richo. And now... White and Sign are going out the other end, but Stampy clears it, and that's what Stampy does. Big chance, Wes. That is the link-up we've seen for the last two years. Ryan Adams, Dan Brown, beautiful. Some players warming up on the other side. Talk about the hashtag bench, actually. Charlie Morley, Aaron Couch, Farai Tsingano, Lee Hursett, Rich Beck, all on there. And he needs to come and get this. This It's bounced short. And he does eventually get it, though. And that, that dry pitch really worked against us there. The ball had no bounce on it whatsoever. Ball over to Dan Brown from Ryan. Loses the ball though. White and Sign, they're going to play it down. They're looking for these balls over the top a lot. And he's come and chested it. Oh, it's dangerous. Guy's got a foot to it. We all need to do something just to make sure it goes out. It does. It's a goal kick. Was that a little bit of a haphazard moment there from Andy? I think Andy was caught in two minds. He didn't know whether he was in or outside the area. Uh, but we, we managed to deal with it and we've, we've got lucky with that one, I think. Yeah, our number 13, Jacko, not here today. Andy and Jacko are kind of uh, sharing goalkeeper duties this year. Ball whipped in by number 23. Stampy gets ahead on it. Falls to a man at the back stick who takes a touch. Sam Adams closes him down. He comes inside, deflected away by Matt Carter and then cleared by Will Putt. If that was on target, well, it was on target. If that had got past Matt Carter, it could have caused a problem. Yeah, brave from Matt there. You sometimes worry even getting a touch on it because you might send it the wrong way of the keeper. Here is the corner then from White and Science. A good ball into the middle. 13 gets ahead on it. Oh, and it's cleared off the line by Will Putt on his debut. I tell you what, Will, if you keep doing things like that, you'll be very popular. That was going in. That was that was a goal line clearance. Well played, Will. Chance here for hashtag. We get the ball in the box. It's loose. It's in the middle. Got to be finished by Dan Brown. Shirley, how has that not gone in? Unbelievable scenes. As Richmond picked out DB for what looked like a, a pretty standard tap-in. He couldn't get the ball under control. Defenders rallied and stopped him from scoring. How has that not gone in, Wes? It looked like he had half the goal to just slide the ball into. Did really well, delayed the shot, faked it, but they've got behind. Oh, that's got to be a foul. That's got to be a foul, ref. Real put's been pushed over. Ball's coming through. Is he onside? Oh, wow. Right on half-time. I think there was a foul there personally. Will Park was going to get the ball and he was pushed from behind. And then they found that man. It's that man again, Dom Locke, with his third goal of the season, who apparently was onside. Good finish from him, to be fair, on the right foot, on the left of the box, just going past Andy. And this corner is going to be whipped in by Matt Carter. Stampy in the box, already got one goal from a set piece this season. It goes towards DB. Oh, and Richo is there for the flick on. Put back in the box again by Stampy. Him and Ricky closing it down, getting the ball back. Stampy going past his man here. Oh, and the refs 
Blown up for half time there. So it comes to an end in the first half of this game. 1 0 to White and Sign. A very tight affair. Lots of chances. Some big decisions from the ref. But it is 1 0 to White and Sign. You've been good. On the whole, you've been really, really good. I don't want you to lose sight of that. I warned you before the game. I told you it'd be bad. The bigger issue I've got is we've got to the stage of the game where we're seeing obvious fouls and we're stopping. We're stopping. And I said to you, don't stop. And we've stopped. We're stopping and arguing on decisions. And as soon as we do that, the game goes on. You can't trust him. You can't trust anybody but yourselves. You've started brilliantly. You managed the conditions really well. But then we've done our old habit of a goal hasn't come and we've withdrawn into ourselves. I think you've got to realise that where we're, where we're at and in order to get yourself in the game, you've got to rat around and you've got to be prepared to go and put your foot in and win the ball and that allow you to take forward. Otherwise, this, this is not under 23s, pass, 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 pass. It's, it's, they're rucks in there. And the only way you come through that is you think, I'm going to be first on the ball, I'm going to go bang, and then I'll take us that way. That'll allow your quality to come through. It doesn't happen at the moment because things are, and you're a bit, oh, and you start drift towards and it gets played around your mat. We've got to keep in control of the situation ourselves. Can we get at people? Can we drive past them? Can we slide down the sides? Play into space early, especially from our kind of middle third. Too many times I think we're looking to run the ball out ourselves. I look at you, H, and you kind of, just slide it down the side, go and join in. Slide it line, make you run towards the middle. We must stay switched on at the back. We must at all times be organising, talking, organising. So the city level, don't, don't ball watch. Don't ball watch. Affect the game at all times. Think about your, your position. Think about your role, your job. But it's been good. It's been good. Right? You don't deserve what's just happened. But it's happened. So we've got to overcome it. And then we'll, we'll be stronger for it when we overcome it. All right, but let's make sure we get out there and we have a right go at them. Give our all, come on, get out there and win the game. So the ref just making sure everyone's ready and he's going to get us underway. There's the whistle, Ricky Evans nonchalantly passes the ball to Matt Carter, who looks for Ryan Adams, who's getting an elbow in, in the chin. And the ref has given it for the right reason there against Dominic Locke. No techers today, so Matt Carter over the ball. Go on, lads, get on it. Go on, chance, DB, back stick. How's that not gone in, boys? How are these not going in? And I think, and I think, whereas you might agree, I had a good view of it, there was a handball. I think after DB tried to flick it, there was a handball. I didn't catch the, the hand. It was a, a busy penalty box. As Thando Moyo sends it towards Harry Honesty. He's got Matt Carter to his left. He tries to find Matt Carter, but... White and Sign player sends it towards number nine. Sam Adams got some work to do here, as does Kane. They need to get rid of it. As White and Sign have held onto the ball and found Dominic Locke on the left hand side of the box. Tried to get it past Kane, who gets an important touch on it. And it's a shot! And it's high, wide, and not at all handsome. Ball in from Matt Carter here. Flick towards Richo. DB's there, Locke trying the overhead kick. And we had a foul given against us. They're, they're naturally going to come out a little bit more negative second half because they've got something to protect which we don't. It's good work from Dan Brown, finds Ryan Adams, whips it in towards Richo, keeper comes for it. Oh, and there's no foul there. There is absolutely no foul there, Wiz. The, the keeper's put himself in, in the danger area and in a crowd of people. Comes back to Matt Carter. Is he going to go back to Sam Adams? He's trying a little bit of skill to beat his man. He's done well. He does whip it in eventually towards the back stick. Oh, but Tim Pittman can come and catch that one. Still got a clean sheet to his name here. He'll be buzzing if he finishes the game with one. It's a long kick again. Defence needs to talk to each other as Sam and Stampy both come. Sam needs to clear. He's kicked it straight to their player. Don't concede from this. Well done, Andy. Big save. What's going on there? The ball's gone through the middle. And it's John Hillard on the ball in the middle, number 23. It's going to be dealt with by Kane at right back. Now we've got a chance here. Neil Richmond hits one on his left foot. Gets a second go at it here. Falls to Matt Carter. Trying to get it on his right foot clearly. Left foot though! Big chance for Matt on his less favoured foot and it was good work from Richmond who tried the, the left foot volley himself. Matt Carter heads it towards Harry Honesty there. That's a good tackle though from David Limber. And he's put someone through on goal here against Sam Adams who needs to deal with it. Number nine's through! Oh no, no, no! It's a second goal for White Ensign. It's come out of nothing. Defensive clearance lumps towards the number nine, Liam Saul. And it's a one-on-one -on -one with his keeper and that's what every striker wants. 
Yeah, disappointing goal to concede that. Kane throws it into uh, Harry Ayres, been stamped on his foot, I think. Put back in by Kane towards Charlie Morley. He needs to get it under control. He's got Will Putt behind him if he needs him and he finds him. Will Putt crosses it in. First time left footed pass. Not dealt with properly. Richo gets the foot to it. And it's a massive save from the keeper. And it's another chance that's not been put in, Wes. Richo going for the turp hook. Got it, on, got it on target, but the keeper got a foot to it. Good save. Striker finds the other one, uh, Liam Saul, who got the second goal. Back to number eight now. Harry Honesty, though, can nip in and get the ball with a nice first touch. He needs players running off him, though. He's only got Richo to aim at. No one else up there. We're looking tired, Wes. What, what's going on? It's great work from Harry, though, to make this space. Eventually, crossing one back into Richo. Richo's first touch is good. Hits the shot, and it's another save from the goalkeeper. Oh, that one, you have to take your hat off. Farai takes a touch here. Flicks it towards Aaron Couch. It's a good pass. Karen Aaron, deliver for us. He's got Matt Carter approaching the box. Flicks it in towards Harry Honesty, who tries to roll it across his body and get it on his left foot, but needed someone probably to try and take it on the right there. And the ref blows up for full time. 2-0 to White and Sane in a game that probably should have resulted in at least a point for Hashtag United. Maybe more with the chances created. Fair play to White and Sine, who rode their luck at times, took their chances when they got them, and they'll be top of the league now after this. Hashtag will be sitting somewhere near the bottom with one point from three games. Wes, how have you found this one? Hey, it's been an experience being in the booth. Um, yeah, not a bad performance from the lads, but unfortunate to not get any points out of it, I think. I don't know where to start. I really don't know where to start. I should be coming in here talking about maybe being hard done by on a decision, that costing us and, and not taking chances. They score from a clearance. They score from our attack, a clearance. I don't know how many times I have to keep talking about defenders. Defenders, you've got to want to defend. We're not taking it on board. It's concentration levels have got to improve. It takes a lot more. A lot more than being able to kick a ball, looking good. It takes a hell of a lot more than that to be effective and be a good footballer. It takes a bundle of heart, brain, will, hunger, desire, anything. You've got to want to win. And to want to win, you've got to do the horrible stuff. You've got to be prepared to work hard. You've got to be prepared to dig in. You've got to be prepared to be up against it. But we can see the second goal, and as dreadful and as dire as the second goal is, we're out of the game because nobody actually went, we'll still get back in this. It's like we give up, and I'm looking at the body language of people. And it's like, oh, it's tough. I don't think anybody who thought coming in this would be a breeze or enjoy, you know. This is not, this is, this is a slog. This is a marathon. This is a hard, hard run. Sometimes it takes more than being the better side for periods to win, to win a football match. I look at them and defensively, I'm looking at them wanting to defend, wanting to just edit clear, wanting to keep it out, not caring. I give them like going on about their, their, their clean sheet. When something goes against you and you're suffering injustice, that's got to be motivating us. And I'm hearing, oh, yeah, we're just unlucky and it's got to change. We've got to change it. Our luck will change when we change it. It's the real world, it's men's football. It's competitive and people with at this level don't want it any less than the people at the higher levels. They just haven't got the ability, but they make up for it with desire and work, work rate. And they're going to run their nuts off. And I'm not seeing enough of that with us. Not seeing enough of it. Get yourself showered training Tuesday. So I'm here with Andy. We're all quite disappointed by that result, quite hurt. How do you feel? I think we've just said it there. I think that you know, disappointed, uh, hurt. I think we were in the game for um, we had periods of play where where we were on top, and we needed to make those count. And they've scored two scrappy, horrible goals from a defensive perspective. Um, so overall, I think it's a tough one to take. Really, uh, you know, like I say, we were we were in the game. We were potentially on top on on parts of the game, but they've made it count at their end rather than us making it count at our end as well. And yes, guys, this is where the video is going to come to an end. And. As you've heard there from Devs and Andy, it's, we're all really hurt by today, but what we can promise you is that we are going to be trying our best. This is a journey and it was never going to be easy. However, a positive is Hashtag United hitting 400,000 subscribers. Big shout out to you guys. Your continued support is much appreciated. Can we hit 500,000 before Christmas? If you've enjoyed the video, 
give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and click that notification bell. And as always, don't forget the hashtag yet. Yeah.